Hey there, folks. Today, we're going to be solving a system of equations with logarithm where we have log x with base y plus log y with base x equals 10 third and x times y equals 16. So I'll be presenting two methods. And now let's go ahead and talk about the first method. So in the first method, let's go ahead and start working on the second equation, which is x times y equals 16. Notice that 16 is 2 to the fourth, and the base of this exponent is 2. So let's go ahead and take the log of both sides with base 2 to get log of x times y with base 2 equals log of 2 to the fourth with base 2. Next, let's go ahead and use the product rule on the left hand side to have a sum of two logs. And then by using the power rule, we can go ahead and take this power and bring it in front and use it as the coefficient of log. So we're going to have 4 times log 2 with base 2. And log 2 with base 2 is 1. So we have 4 on the right hand side. And this is what we have as the sum of two logs. So let's keep it in mind. And now let's go ahead and talk about the first equation. So the first equation is log x with base y plus log y with base x equals 10 third. Next, let's go ahead and use the change of base formula and change the bases to 2. So we're going to have log x with base 2 over log y with base 2 plus log y with base 2 over log x with base 2, and this equals 10 third. Next, let's go ahead and get a common denominator on the left hand side. So we're going to have the product of log x and log y in the bottom. And on the top, we're going to have log x squared plus log y with base 2 squared. And then from this, I can say that log x with base 2 squared plus log y with base 2 squared equals 10 third times the product of log x and log y. Now, notice that we have the sum of two squares on the left hand side. So let's go ahead and add two times log x with base 2 times log y with base 2 to both sides to complete the square on the left hand side. So by doing that, on the left hand side, we're going to have the quantity log x with base 2 plus log y with base 2 squared. And on the right hand side, we're going to have 2 plus 10 third, which is going to be 16 third times the product of log x and log y. Now remember that we know that the sum of log x and log y is 4. So that means that the left hand side is 4 squared or 16. Now from this, I can go ahead and cancel the 16s. And we're going to have log x with base 2 times log y with base 2 equals 3. So the product of these two logs is 3. And as we said before, their sum is 4. So we can say that one of them has to be 1 and the other one has to be 3. So we have two cases. Either log x with base 2 equals 1 and log y with base 2 equals 3 or log x with base 2 equals 3 and log y with base 2 equals 1. So we have two cases. This is the first case and this is the second case. And now let's go ahead and try to solve for x and y in the first case. So in the first case, we have log x with base 2 equals 1, which means that x equals 2 to the power 1, which is 2. And we have 
log y with base 2 equals 3, which means that y equals 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. And in the second case, we have log x with base 2 equals 3, which means that x equals 8. And we have log y with base 2 equals 1, which means that y equals 2. Great. So either x equals 2 and y equals 8 or vice versa. So this means that we are done with the first method. And now let's go ahead and talk about the second method. So let me rewrite the problem again. So we have log x with base y plus log y with base x equals 10 third and x times y equals 16. So let's go ahead and use the substitution method in the second method. And let's say that z equals log x with base y. In this case, by using the change of base formula, we can say that z equals log x over log y. And that means that the reciprocal of z is equal to log y over log x. And by using the change of base formula, we can say that this equals log y with base x. So if I replace this with z, this is going to be 1 over z. That means that z plus 1 over z equals 10 third. So let's go ahead and solve that for z. So we have z plus 1 over z equals 10 third. So first of all, let's go ahead and multiply everything by z to get a quadratic equation. And then to get rid of this 3 in the bottom, let's go ahead and multiply everything by 3 to get 3z squared plus 3 equals 10z. And then to solve this, let's go ahead and move everything to the left hand side to get 3z squared minus 10z plus 3 equals 0. Now feel free to solve this by using factoring or the quadratic formula. But if you do, you can see that z equals 3 or z equals 1 third. So let's say that z equals 3. Now remember that z is log x with base y. And remember that x times y equals 16. So from this, I can say that log x with base y equals 3, which means that x equals y cubed. Now, since I want to use the value of x times y, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by y to get x times y equals y to the power of 4. Now, notice that x times y is 16, so we have 16 equals y to the power of 4. And since y is a positive quantity, we can say that y equals 2. Now, remember that x times y is 16, so that means that x is 8. So this is the first pair of solutions. And now let's go ahead and talk about the second value of z. So if z equals 1 third, we're going to have log x with base y equals 1 third, which means that x equals y to the power of 1 third. And then by raising both sides to the power of 3, we're going to have x cubed equals y. Again, to use the value of x times y, let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x to get x to the fourth equals x times y, which is equal to 16. And since x is a positive quantity, I can say that x equals 2, and therefore y equals 8. Great. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider subscribing for more contents like this. And hit the like button if you enjoyed watching this. Hopefully I will see you later. Goodbye for now.